press the bell icon to join the notification squad. Uh, so the question is, how do we understand that a Muslim man can marry a Christian lady even though uh, Christians believe in Jesus Christ as being the Son of God and that is something that we strongly disagree with and we say that this is uh, something that is antithetical it goes against the perfection of Allah Allah says in the Quran Lam yalid wa lam yulad. he doesn't have children nor does he have any uh, father or mother is this still permitted in our times or perhaps in the past there were different types of Christian in Islam that Christians said that Jesus is the Son of God even in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. In fact, the Qur'an explicitly says that the Christians say this. The Qur'an says that the Christians say this. And the Qur'an also says that Muslim men can marry Christian women. And therefore, it is allowed theoretically for a Muslim man to marry a, a Christian uh, lady even if the Christian lady says that Jesus is the Son of God. That's exactly what the Qur'an itself says that the Christians say. However, a number of scholars have put some conditions for this. Firstly, the Quran puts a condition. The first condition is wal muhsanatu, and that is uh, chaste and God-fearing women of the Christians. So, if uh, a Muslim is involved in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, sleeping around with different girls, and then he marries one of these girls, the Quranic condition has not been met. Because the Quranic condition is that they must be chaste and God-fearing. They're not sleeping around with other men. And these days it is very difficult, if not impossible, to find a young man or a young woman who is not a religious person, who is not a Muslim, and they don't sleep around with others. This is a, a, one of the biggest problems of our times, that zina is, astaghfirullah, uh, common amongst every single culture. So you need to find a Christian lady who is uh, pure. And she, is, uh, and she has never engaged in intercourse outside of the bonds of marriage. This is what the Qur'an says, muhsanat, it has to be muhsan. The second condition is that they be uh, righteous Christians. And by this, what is meant by, by practicing Christian? It means that they, are, uh, they have some element of God-fearingness, they are religious, they go to church. They, it's not like the cultural Christians of our times, many of whom really don't believe in a God. They are cultural Christians. They don't really have religiosity, right? So you need to marry a Christian who is a Christian by faith and belief and actions. They practice Christianity. Now, there is a third condition that is controversial. This is a condition of Ibn Abbas and many of the early scholars. And it is a condition that my heart leans towards and I very much follow it. And that is, Ibn Abbas said, this allowance of Muslim men marrying non-Muslim women is only allowed within an Islamic state. It is not allowed outside of an Islamic state. Outside of an Islamic state, Muslim men must marry Muslim women. This is the position of Ibn Abbas and a, a group of scholars from his time. And this really makes a lot of sense because if uh, a Muslim man marries a non-Muslim lady and the environment is not Muslim, what guarantee is it that the children will be Muslim afterwards? And in fact, as we all know, that if a divorce takes place, generally speaking, custody is given to the mother. And I myself have met many uh, cases and scenarios and encountered them where the husband uh, was a Muslim, he marries a Christian lady, a divorce happens, the judge rules that the children are given to the mother and the children are raised as non-Muslims. And this is something that is all too common and it is a sad reality. And that is why I also think that the position of Ibn Abbas makes a lot of sense and I do not think that it is wise. And I personally do not perform such marriage ceremonies and I would not do this uh, in the future that I don't think this is uh, something that should be done. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. وطن سما فيه الطموح مرفرفا على من تألق في سما الآفاق وطن إذا ذكر الوفاء ذكرته حبا وصدر مبهج الله